potato. That's right, folks, we've got potatoes sprouting up. So, they're just beginning to come up now. Um, it's the 29th of April. Planted these a few weeks ago on around St. Patrick's Day, aroundish, more or less. Um, so it's time now to really start looking after them. I'm going to top them up with soil, some sort of growing medium. Um, try and get some homemade compost in those ones and some uh, shop bought compost on top of these. And that'll just protect these emerging shoots from the uh, potential of late frost. We could still get a frost for the next couple of weeks or so. It won't really do them any harm to get a little bit of frost nip, but you know, we've got the soil, we may as well do it. So yeah, let's do that. And uh, now our main key is to really keep them watered. Because as they start to grow up, the potatoes are forming and they really need a nice consistent moisture to get a decent crop. All right, let's crack on with that. Okay, so we'll give these about um, 20, these are 12 litre watering cans. We'll give them about 24 litres today each. Sounds like a lot, but it really won't last too long. And then we'll top that with soil and we'll put some more water in the bottles to let that make sure it gets into the middle of the pot. My fear at the moment is that it's well, not so much now, but if it dries out much more, the water will just start going down the sides and disappearing. We don't want that. Okay, so I've watered them all in. I'll check in a moment at the back if I've got some enough homemade compost to top these, uh, this experimental row up, the ones that were planted in the homemade compost. For the time being, just going to top up these ones with the shop bought compost in this first row. In the ideal world, I think I'd have some straw to put on top of this to hold the water in, but um, given the location I live in, straw is not exactly abundant. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to use. I do have some chopped up uh, old raspberry canes over there, which I might just put as a mulch in a couple of buckets to see how it works on the uh, rows nearer the camera there, nearer you. That's just my other spare potatoes that I grew. Only these six are the experimental ones. So also what I think I'll do is try and make a playlist on the channel and on the Facebook group so that you can specifically follow one thing rather than perhaps if you just visit the channel you fluctuate between sweet corn and garlic and everything else so anyway bear with me i'll finish topping these up and we'll put some water directly in the bottles to make sure the middles are nice and wet made compost.
Okay, so I'll carry on filling these bottles up. I hope you've enjoyed the update on the potato experiment. Be sure to join the My Allotment Facebook group and subscribe to uh, this channel if you like this sort of thing. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.